All right. <clears throat> Hello, guys, and welcome back. So this week we're battling off against the Vovo. You might know him as my partner from the MPVL, but this week we're enemies again, and I'm gonna beat him this time. Uh, last time I got I beat I was beaten by him. Not saying it was because of Irachi. He played very well, and this week I'm kind of prepared for it. Um, I tried to prepare more for it. Uh, I was very scared of the Irachi, obviously, seeing after how it destroyed me last time which uh, I don't want to have that happening again so I brought my Metagross, I brought my Lotic, I brought Celestila. Celestila actually being able to deal with Yurachi this time with Flamethrower um, which is just nice to have and we brought Dredagon just to glare everything uh, we have well, just to deal with the overall sense and again it's always the plan the main plan is always trying to sweep with uh, with the Ansi and Diggersby meanwhile having four thick walls uh, which are capable of dealing with the opposing Pokemons. So I'm just gonna press play. So it's me versus Davo. He leads with the uh, Electivire, I lead with the Deancey. I got protected by Deancey just to scout if he should have any excess Scarfers. And I'm going for Protect to check if he does. And showing that he has Earthquake makes me think that he is Scarf indeed. So I decide to switch. Just for trying to predict. Uh, going to Dradigan, which is able to glare, try and glare everything. I've got rough skin which deals with, uh, of course, with the physical Yurachi. I can go for glare here. And I've got this uh, Swampert Paralyzed, which is very nice for me. Because I just want to taunt it. Because, like, I made this set specifically because uh, I knew that Swampert's probably going to switch into this. And Swampert is probably going to try to get a Prox first. Me. So, taunt, glare, uh, just for the Swampert. Well, glare is just overall very nice to have. I go for my rocks. I can go for, well, and he goes for the Ice Wound, and speed doesn't matter to me because, like, Dredigan is really not that useful, seeing as it has, doesn't have that much speed. Anyway, so I go for the Dragon Tail, we then the Enter comes in. I just want to parrot this thing. I really want to parrot this thing. If this thing is parrot, it's so much better for me. Uh, it helps me so much. He goes for the Secret Fire, doesn't get the burn, sadly, for him, uh, and yeah, we see that he's Live Orb. And being that with the Stealth Rocks, that will really chip him. Uh, we gotta hope that the Tulkis doesn't have Heal Bell, so we can deal with this. He gets the Para here, which is very unfortunate for him. I could just go for an Ice Beam, predicting that the Roserade comes in. But he doesn't switch in the Roserade, which is just a ballsy as hell. So I go for a second Skull then, uh, for a Skull then, and I deal with this. Alright, then comes in the Electivire. I really... I really don't know if this thing is scarfed yet. So what I'm doing is to switch in by Dragon to see if he should be scarfed so we can see what move he goes for. And he chooses to go for Discharge. As we see, Dragon still lives, uh, doesn't get parried as well, which is kind of great for me. Uh, so I, And he switches again. So it really makes me think that he's scarfed right now. Here I'm like 95% sure he's scarfed. So I just go for Glare, expecting him to switch as well. And indeed, he does switch. He goes for the Shadow Ball with another Live Orb Rosary, which is very great for him, and kills off my Dragon, which is fine. Okay, so my Dragon is dead, but uh, here comes the pickup Diggers because yes, again, I forgot to make it not pick up, uh, to make it huge power. I've, I've been forgetting this quite a few times <laughs> throughout this league, but it's funny to me because, like, a Diggers B is still putting in a lot of work despite this. He does get Parrot the uh, in turn 15. Which is quite unfortunate for him. And yeah, it really sucks for him. Because like the Swamp could have damaged my Diggersby. But yeah, I'm a Scarf Diggersby with pick, uh, <laughs> pick up, which doesn't really help me. But yeah, you know. All right. The Rookies goes for an Aurosphere, which is actually very nice uh, coverage to, well, to hit the Diggersby, I guess, as well, which is quite fun. Uh, then goes for SI, so he doesn't have fl uh, Flamethrower Fire Blast, which is very nice for my Metagross, so I can go for Meter Mash and deal with this Tulkis immediately. Uh, the Electifier comes in, and here I'm still 95% sure he is Scarf. He goes for the Urkut, gets a crit, but that's, um, well, I've been lucky as well with my Paras, so I don't mind that. I go Diggersby, uh, I know he's faster than me, but my Earthquake is still stronger, like he doesn't have any Earthquake resists anymore. Uh, Rosie still takes a lot. Goes for the earthquake. I only need two er uh, scarf earthquakes and I deal with this. Then the electrifier comes in. The electrifier can kill me, and I really don't want to. I really don't want Diggersby to die yet, because like it can deal with the Urachi if, well, it can. 
depending on what set the Yurachi is. If it's Scarf again, yeah. So he goes for the cross shop. I go to my logic expecting him to do that. Uh, just go for Skull. Uh, I just switch back into the Dixie, expecting the uh, Yurachi to come in to see what moves that it has. He goes for the Iron Hand, gets the flinch. So I'm uh, getting Vietnam flashbacks right here. Uh, I go to my Celestila. Celestila being able to deal with both of them quite well. Uh, he goes for the Iron Hand again. He does switch out now. Uh, I can go. I could just go for Lichi to get my health back. I can. It's just Celestila also has Protect as well, so I can see what move he wants to go for, and I can switch accordingly. He goes for Discharge. I can switch to Digsby. He goes for Cross Shop. I can just stay in, stuff like that. So he goes for Discharge. Uh, I I thought he was gonna switch out. He didn't, which is well. Well played by him, actually, because uh, it did a lot of help on my Celestila. So he only has the Rachi left, and my Celestila is uh, plus defense, and we know that his Rachi is physical, so we can de uh, deal with that. And uh, the move decides to forfeit, and so the Celestila still gets a kill, and that's my first round of the top four. First level level. So we took a revenge first level. level. In the next round, we actually are up against uh, Hamrock, which we lost to as well. So, it's not like we are trying to take back revenge on everyone here. But yeah, that's it, pretty much. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please leave a like. If you didn't, that's fine. And that's it. Bye.